the Aeolian Piano Brand began in the 1860s in Connecticut. The company was initially started by William B. Tremaine in 1868, and with his brothers they called it the Tremaine Brothers. He helped engineer and go to market with the organette, which by 1883 had evolved into the well-known Aeolian organ, a tabletop organ for in-home play. He acquired several organ companies in Boston, and founded the Aeolian Organ and Music Company in 1888. Soon thereafter, he introduced the Areola, the self-playing piano-organ hybrid, and the precursor to the automatic playing piano that would drive Aeolian success as a company, the Pianola. By 1898, William's son, Harry B. Tremaine, took over the business and changed the name to the Aeolian Company. He moved the enterprise to Worcester, Massachusetts, and was seeking capital investment to take the company to the next level. Having acquired patents for the automatic appliances for their musical instruments, Tremaine commissioned four full-page color ads in a magazine to announce the pianola. By 1903, the company had acquired several organ and piano companies, including George Stecken Company, Weber Piano Company, and others. This was a pivotal move towards increased control of the industry, with piano player factories in New York City, Garwood, Meriden, and the Steck and Weber piano factories in Gotha, Germany, and Hayes, England. By 1932, Aeolian was sitting at the top of all piano companies with more capital invested in the company than the rest of the entire piano industry at over $15 million. That same year, Aeolian merged with the American Piano Company to become the Aeolian American Corporation. Furthering their footprint as one of the largest piano and player piano producers in America, the Aeolian American Piano Company controlled many piano names still found today. When ownership of the company passed from Tremaine to the Heller family, owners of Winter and Company Pianos, in 1959, the name was simplified to the Aeolian Corporation, and a new plant was opened in New Brunswick for sourcing wood materials and parts. The footprint of the company expanded when the company was sold in 1983 to former Steinway president Peter Pertz. By 1985, Factories were beginning to close, and all the company's assets were sold to various existing piano manufacturers by 1989. In 2001, Gibson Guitars purchased the Baldwin Piano Company and reintroduced the Aeolian name for some of their pianos. This particular model of Aeolian in the Templeton is the Aeolian Orchestrelle Style 5 58-note harmonium player reed organ. The paper rolls over a piece of wood with a slit in it that allows air to pass over the reeds. The paper then allows air to pass through the reeds, thus playing the song according to the music. The cabinet has an elaborate Circassian walnut case and fluted ionic columns, carved classical friezes, and reticulated panels. It is not only an exquisite instrument, but a gorgeous piece of craftsmanship. The music in today's episode has been from the player portion of the Aeolian Orchestrelle. However, now we would like to show you what this organ sounds like when performed by one of our co-workers, Philip Whitman. <laughs> 